This best-selling t-shirt is estimated to have made over $6,800 in the last 30 days, and it is very simple to create. Here, you can see that this shirt is in over 20 carts, which is good validation that it's selling. And using Everbee, I can see the estimated monthly revenue, the estimated sales, and much more. I can also see that the listing age is 25 months old, meaning this shirt has been selling for years and probably makes a huge resurgence in sales every year leading up to Halloween. So let me show you how to create a design like this in minutes and watch until the end because I've got a sales tip for you. But real quick, if you're interested in building a profitable print on demand business, check out my free resources below and please help me out by liking this video and smashing that subscribe button if you want to see more t-shirt trend tutorials. Let's get designing. First, I'm going to hop into Kittle. Second, I'm going to select t-shirt templates and I'm just going to search for ghost. Third, I'm going to choose a design template. So I'm just going to go through here and let's choose this one here. Fourth, change the design to make it original and relevant to your niche. I'll use the same slogan for this example. First thing I'm going to do is just change the background color. I think I want to go with a light gray. Next, I'm going to delete some of the elements. I'm going to stretch this checkered background and then I'm going to move it to the center. Next, let's just expand this ghost so that it takes up a little bit more of the design. I want to move the bats because I'm actually going to move the text to the top of the design. When I click on the bats, I see that they're grouped together. All you need to do is right click and tap ungroup and then you can move the bats wherever you want. Stretch them a little bit bigger. And because I'm gonna put this design on a dark shirt, I don't want black elements. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna make a lot of these black elements beige. So I'm gonna change the bats to beige. I'm gonna change the checkered background to beige. Next, let's work on the text. I'm just gonna get rid of the word stay and I'm gonna change spooky to creep it real. First thing I wanna do is adjust the size down because I think it's gonna be too large. So I'm just gonna go with 685 for the font size. Next, I want to edit the transform because I actually want it to arch above the ghost here. So I kind of want the opposite arch. All you need to do is type edit transform. And then on the right side, you'll see where it says negative 80. I'm just going to get rid of that negative and turn it to 80. And now I've got the arch the other way. I'm also going to change the text shading so that it matches everything else and isn't super dark. I'm going to change that to the beige as well. Let's go ahead and change that text. And I'm just gonna move this above the ghost. Last but not least, I wanna add a texture to this design to make it look kind of vintagey and distressed. So all I'm gonna do is go to the left side, type textures. I'm just gonna select the first one here. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is change color burn to alpha mask. And then you're gonna to wanna to tap clip content. And now you can see that it has this cool grunge effect. When you're done creating your design, just tap the download button in the top right and be sure to download it as a PNG file with a transparent background. Once I have my design ready, I'm going to hop into Printify and I'm going to add this design to a Comfort Colors 1717 t-shirt since that's the style of the bestseller that I'm using as inspiration. I'm going to select Swift Pod. In the top right hand corner, you can edit your variants so you can change the colors that you offer. It's going to default to white, but I want to change that. I'm going to select black pepper, which is super trendy right now. And then I'm going to get rid of the white option. Next, I'm going to drag my design onto the mock-up. From here, I'm just going to make sure that I'm happy with the placement of the design. And then I'm going to check the preview to see what this would look like on a human. It actually looks a bit big. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to shrink this a little bit and I'm going to move it up. That looks much better. I'm just going to go ahead and save this product. Once I've filled out the product details, I would just go ahead and publish this to my Shopify store. Also, you can always add additional mock-ups to your Shopify listing. My personal favorite places for mockups are Etsy and places. If you wanted to use the same mockup as the example that we're using as inspiration, just go to Etsy, type in comfort colors 1717 mockup pepper and scroll down and there it is. Just to be clear, I never recommend stealing designs, but I do like using best-selling mockups since there's clear evidence that the lifestyle image converts. And now for the sales tip. I know Halloween seems super far away, but I always recommend releasing seasonal designs at least 90 days prior to the holiday. So the clock is ticking. This gives people time to actually see the design, receive the shirt, and plenty of time to wear it leading up to that holiday. As you can see here in the search results, the term Halloween is already trending with over 3,200 monthly searches. When I search that term, you can see that most of the products are shirts, 
and that they're popular right now. So if you want to profit from that Halloween demand, do not wait. Also, if you want to build a profitable t-shirt or apparel business, tap the link below to attend my free 90 minute masterclass on how to make your first $10,000 with Shopify and print on demand.